Hello everyone, in this video we're going to draw a monkey. Start by drawing a circle as a guide for the front part of the body. To draw the circle, first make two small marks to indicate the circle's length, and then on the sides make two more small marks to indicate the circle's width. Then connect the marks using curved lines to finish the shape of the circle. The circle doesn't have to be perfect, but if you're having trouble drawing it, just trace the outer edge of a coin, a bottle cap, or anything else with a circular edge. Sketch lightly at first so that it's easy to erase if you make a mistake. Also, pause the video to draw at your own pace. To the left, draw another circle as a guide for the back portion of the body. Use the 4 marks method to draw this circle too. Draw the two circles roughly the same size. Place this circle slightly higher than the first circle. Draw another circle on the right side as a guide for the head. Pay attention to the size of the head in relation to the body. Make the head circle about 3 fourths the size of the first circle. Place the head circle slightly higher than the first circle. Draw a curved horizontal line inside the head circle. This is a construction guide that will help you place the facial features later on. Draw a curved vertical line on the top right side for another construction guide. Connect the head to the body using short curved lines to create the guide for the neck. Make the bottom line longer and more curved. Connect the body circles using sloping lines to finish the guide for the torso. Under the first circle, draw a long angled line as a guide for the first arm. Bend the line at the top to indicate a joint and then again at the bottom for the hand. To the right, draw another long angled line as a guide for the other arm. Bend the line twice to indicate the joint and the hand. Under the circle on the left, draw a long angled line as a guide for the leg. Bend the line near the middle to indicate a joint and then again at the bottom for the foot. Starting on the top left side of the body, draw a long curved line as a guide for the tail. Pay attention to how long this line is in relation to the body. Curve the line at the bottom so that it resembles a spiral. The shape of this line should be similar to the number 6. Don't place the bottom of the tail too close to the leg. And that's it for the guidelines. Now let's start on the final drawing. Inside the head, lightly sketch two small circles for the eyes. Place the eyes on top of the horizontal construction guide and on either side of the vertical guide. When you have the sizes and positions of the eyes right, darken the shapes. Draw small angled lines on the sides of the circles for the corners of the eyes. Darken the circles for the eyeballs. Make the circle on the right slightly smaller because the head is turned. Inside each eye, off to the side, draw a tiny circle for highlights. In the middle of each eye, draw a small circle and shade it in for the pupils. Don't overlap the tiny highlight circles as you shade the pupils. Make the edges of the eyes thick and dark. Draw a few curved lines around the eyes for the eyelids and wrinkles. Keep these lines close to the shapes of the eyes. Add a few more small curved lines higher above the eyes for more wrinkles. Curve the lines near the middle to emphasize the brow. Below the eyes, draw the nose using a few curved lines. Draw a curved line under the left corner of the eye on the right for the front part of the nose. Sketch lightly at first and only darken the lines when you get the shapes right. Use the initial lines as guides to help you position the nose inside the head. 
to the left, draw a small circular shape for the nostril. Add a few smaller lines farther to the left for the outer edge of the nostril. Make the nostrils thick and dark. Under the nose, draw a curved horizontal line for the mouth. Draw the sides of the mouth slightly lower than the middle section. Sketch lightly at first and only darken the line when you get the shape right. Don't make the mouth too long. Draw a curved vertical line on the right side to emphasize the shape of the mouth. Under the mouth, draw a curved line for the chin. Use a series of short strokes as you draw this line for the fur on the chin. On the right side, draw a vertical line for the side of the face. At the bottom, curve the line to the left. Draw a series of short strokes along the tops of the eyes for the edge of the fur. These short strokes indicate where the fur meets the bare skin. Continue to draw the strokes on the left side so that the fur wraps around the eye. Don't make these strokes too long. Extend the strokes downward so that they meet the bottom of the chin. The short strokes should wrap around the shape of the face. Use the initial circle as a guide to draw the rest of the head. Draw a series of short strokes along the path of the circle to create the shape of the head. Make the top of the head slightly flatter than the initial circle. Add short strokes on the bottom right side of the head for the fur on the cheek. Don't connect the fur on the left side to indicate where the head meets the body. Close to the left edge of the initial circle, draw a series of short strokes for the furry base of the ear. Draw the visible section of the ear on the left side using curved lines. Add more short strokes below the ear for the bottom edge of the head. Draw a few more strokes inside the head for a furry texture. Shade the inside of the eyes. Use a value that's lighter than the pupils to shade the eyes. Don't overlap the tiny highlight circles as you shade. Use the second line from the right that's under the body as a guide to draw the arm. First, lightly sketch the shape of the arm around the guideline. Make the top of the arm wide and then gradually make it thinner toward the bottom. Curve the bottom part of the shape to the right for the hand. When you get the shape of the arm right, darken the lines. The top of the arm should be inside the body. Use a series of short strokes as you darken the shape for a furry texture. Keep the bottom edges of the arm close to the guideline so that the bottom is thin. At the bottom, draw a small thin shape for the first finger. To the right, draw a longer curved line for another finger. Bend these shapes to indicate the joints on the fingers. Draw another line farther to the right for another finger. Not all the fingers will be visible from this angle. Add a few short strokes along the wrist for the edge of the fur. Use the line on the right as a guide to draw the other arm the same way. First, lightly sketch the shape of the arm around the guideline. Bend the bottom of the shape to the right to create the hand. The top of the arm should be wider than the bottom. When you get the shape of the arm right, darken the lines. Use a series of short strokes as you darken the shape for a furry texture. 
At the bottom, draw a small curved shape for the opposable thumb. Farther to the right, draw a longer, thinner shape for the first finger. Curve the shape to indicate the joints on the finger. Add a longer line to the right for another finger. Only three fingers on this hand will be visible from this angle. Use the angled line on the left as a guide to draw the leg. Just like with the arms, first lightly sketch the shape of the leg around the guideline. Make the top of the leg wide and then gradually make it thinner toward the bottom. Curve the bottom part of the shape to the right to create the foot. When you get the shape of the leg right, darken the lines. Use a series of short strokes for a furry texture on the leg. At the bottom, draw a short thin shape for the first toe. Draw a couple of longer curved lines to the right for the other toes. Make the toes long so that they're similar to fingers. Add a few short strokes inside the foot for the edge of the fur. To the left, draw a long curved shape for the other leg. Sketch lightly at first and only darken the lines when you get the shape right. Only the left edge of this leg will be visible from this angle. Use a series of short strokes as you darken the shape for the fur. Now use the remaining shapes and lines as guides to draw the rest of the body. Darken the outer edges of the guides to create the shape of the body. Use a series of short strokes along the bottom for a furry texture. Don't overlap the arm and leg that are on this side of the body as you draw the underside. Use the curved line on the left as a guide to draw the tail. Darken the guideline to create the top edge of the tail. Draw another curved line close to the guideline to create the bottom edge of the tail. Make the tail wide at the base and then gradually make it thinner toward the tip. Sketch lightly at first and only darken the shape when you get the tail right. Use a few short strokes along the bottom for a furry texture. Make the tip of the tail thin and pointy. Now erase the initial guidelines. The next few steps are sped up so that the video isn't too long. Don't worry about erasing all of the guidelines, it's okay if you leave some behind. Redraw any of the final lines that you may have accidentally erased. Now shade your drawing. Use the dark value to shade the body except for the main part of the head, the chest, and the shoulders. Sketch lightly at first and gradually build up to darker values. For light values, push down very lightly on your pencil, then push down harder for darker values. For the head, use the dark value only at the top. As you shade, use strokes that go in the direction of the fur. The strokes on the body mainly have a diagonal orientation. Add a medium value on the face and the white fur to create some shadows. Shadows will give the figure more dimension and volume. Use a very light value on the face and white fur. Add a slightly darker value throughout the body to create more shadows. Shade the hands and feet using a dark value. Draw a cast shadow at the bottom using a medium value. Shading can be time consuming, so be patient and take breaks. Keep shading until you're happy with the result. And that's it for the monkey. Don't forget to pause the video to draw at your own pace. Also, please visit howtodrawanimals.com where every step of this tutorial is broken down into an individual image. That's how, and then the number two, then drawanimals.com. If you'd like to support my channel, please consider buying my books on Amazon. I'll leave a link in the description below. 
And if you enjoyed the video, please leave a like, a comment, and subscribe for more videos in the future. Thank you for watching, and until next time, keep drawing.